Well, Dick, they've passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the Miami Hurricanes and the Indiana Hoosiers. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Hoosiers should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First of all, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Next, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Third, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. They work it around the arc. Looking for the foul. Knocks it down. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He'll regroup the offense. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes. The skip pass is picked off. Pass intercepted. Hey, Brad, you can't follow a guy all the way across the court and expect to get a pass to him. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Way out on top, controlling the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. The post flashes up high if he wants it. The shooting guard receives the pass. Inside, 10 seconds on the clock. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the inside. There's the trap. Tries for two. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Woodson receives the ball. And in and out. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He tries to knock down the three. Goes in. Inside, in the paint, fakes the shot. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For two. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Go up the other way, get a layup. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. And they get the turnover. 
This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. He shoots from downtown. Sinks it. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Drops the bucket despite the harm. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Royal is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Fed the low block. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Nick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Boy. Terrible execution on offense. Long lead pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Trying to pack it inside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. a bad pass right to the defender he's got to get rid of it trying to draw the foul he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score both teams looking to get things going here Coming inside from three-point territory drains the shot On the inside. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Defense giving some room. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Makes it. That's a 10 nothing run. Step back out onto the court. Pop makes it. It goes in the foul. You talk about Will. This senior has it, baby. He was putting that in no matter what. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Stolen away. He takes the shot from the baseline. He gets the bucket to fall. a little foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Look at that 
Let's face it. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Up and inside. Now they'll bring it up. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Gave it up. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. On the dribble, gives it up. Here they go, into the break. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Thanks, Aaron. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points, they add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Shoots from left of the circle. He swishes it from downtown. That's a 12-0 run. surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Moving it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He up fakes. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Puts it up. He drains the bucket. That's a 14 zip run. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. He shoots from outside. Buried it. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Both teams looking to get things going here. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive play. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the shot. That's good. He intercepts it. 
Slam jam bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. On the outside, gets it back out. Here's a double team. There was no doubt about that one. Wide open for the shot. He launches a three. Goes. shot tries to get the D to bite and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot that's been moved not going to work against the defense like that I tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin great play to take that to the basket There's a double team waiting there. He makes a nice shot fake. He comes away with it. They're off into transition. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, Everybody involved. First one is no good. He makes his second shot. Indiana are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they really started to pick on offense. They work the perimeter. Look at that spacing. Tries one from three-point land. Tickles a twine. There they come with a double team to stop it. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. Another turnover. I'm not talking out the turnovers either. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Stolen away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. They scored 10 in a row. here after the timeout. In the paint. Double team now, bad angle. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Come up with a 
the steal. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers, and look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts if that stat's negative. And, that and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. that ball movement get that good spacing we're gonna move it around the perimeter fakes the jumper three seconds in the lane he's not moving Brad <laughs> intercepted cross court with a quarterback pass Moving it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. He gets it to go. Picks off the pass. Aliou puts it up, looking for contact. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Steals the pass. Gave it up. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. start again. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Side. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. No good from the field. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now work it around the arc. In the paint. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? With the freebie. First shot, no good. They're not getting it done from the free throw line tonight, Dick. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. He sinks it. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. 
Nick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Working it around the perimeter. Three. He nails the bucket. Shot clock is dead. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. He goes to the free throw line. Routine. They work the perimeter. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He can't get the bucket to fall. Time, the Hurricanes are behind by 11. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? My highlight, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Indiana was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. They move it into the front court. He shoots. Got it. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. There's the fake. Foul charge. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. The power forward takes the feed. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. He shoots from downtown. Indiana are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Gets it to go.
Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. The pass is ripped away. He broke out just in time. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. The Hurricanes are behind by 15. fake there's a nice block from behind dick yeah that's good timing for the defense you start comparing these backcourts dick what are your impressions so far you know well for me brad good guard play will take you a long way if you think about teams in the past they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure attack off the dribble and distribute the ball i can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Erin's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. in the paint and he scores despite the hack picks off the pass nothing better come easy tonight baby they are really playing for keeps the Hoosiers are up by 15 there's a double team waiting there Moving it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. OK, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. With the free throw. It's good. They'll work it around the arc. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He throws up the shot. Way off target. it up fronts him first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us or three makes it paint. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Goes up for two. Rims out. Indiana have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. 
You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. On the inside. Here they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of play. Well, Nick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Let's see if the replay does that any justice. it up he tries the three ball he gets to fall the hurricanes trail by 17 they work the perimeter he's got some room Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off is thrown down court for the bucket. Got it. And he'll kick it back outside. Picked out of the air. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Miami have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. The power forward takes the pass. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? The Hoosiers' composure is falling even as we speak, Dick. Hey, it's tough to take a mental blow like that, Brad. Let's see how this affects their play. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Up and inside. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Ball movement, get that good spacing. The Big Ten, Michigan, Michigan State, Indiana, some great rivalries and lots of pounding and banging. Hey, definitely there's a lot of banging when a Big Ten school is playing. The power forward gets the ball. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Looking for contact. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. It. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He grabs the rebound. 
but let's face it. The small forward with the ball. Miami are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Blocked. Nice job defensively. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. For two, perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Goes up for two. Finger roll. Goes up for two. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. He comes away with it. Oh, what a great job transition offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And he missed. Jumps into the defender. Steals the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tickles the twine. On the outside. Gave it up. Picked off. They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Accepts it. The fake throws it up. Intercepted. For the deuce. Easy one. He really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. They work it around the perimeter. Double team now, that angle. He unloads a three. Good. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Lays it in. Take a look right here. Top of 
of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Tries for two. He tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. He takes the shot off the baseline. Goes up for two. Easy one. The outside. The center gets the pass. They let him get into a rhythm. <laughs> the Hurricanes have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. For two, rims out. Dump it inside. In the paint. For the deuce, and he scores it off the glass. For the bucket, Miami are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He strokes it. That's good. There's that pressure on that basketball. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. Way out on top. Control of the ball. Elevator man, man, that's the elevator guy. What a high riser. And the great defense. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. He buries the shot. shot arm and foul as we see the game situation here hey brad these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for calling timeouts at the right time knowing which way the possession arrows pointing all factors that are important in close games he misses his first shot Nothing but nylon, NBN. Have to make the free throw. He takes the rebound. High post screen. So effective that screen. The Hoosiers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. 
and yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And the clock stopped with a foul. And yet another foul. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, knowing when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. Good. Makes it. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. Tries for two. He takes the rebound. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. To the line. Up and in. It's the second. We've got a timeout on the floor. Side. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Definitely a foul. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Up and inside. He unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Oh, Screener took some punishment setting that pick. For the deuce. He gets it to fall. The center takes the pass in the paint. There's a high screen. Pushes it up. Long pass down court. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Hoosiers is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.